All right, so that last video, some of you might have said, Oh, well, underscore, that last map was with, that last match was with a bunch of noobs, and that's not a clear indicator of anything, or any, any proof of your argument. Well, this was basically a pro league match that we're about to look at, and I had the pleasure of getting put with one of the best players in zone control. And I'm going to tell you why. And I didn't understand this at first, but maybe he didn't before. But I used to think that I was better than Roz because I beat him in lane. But there's a reason for that. I think I only beat Roz in lane because I was laning. And he had a shitty ally who didn't believe in laning. In those situations, I would beat him in lane and lose anyway. Isn't that frustrating? So, we're going to go through this match and we're going to talk about it. This was a no all chat game, anonymous. So the only people talking was me and uh, me and Roz. And uh, if we can hurry it on up here, I can tell you, tell you the identities. I know Boogie was in here, Pookie, me, Roz. Uh, keep going here. Eventually, it gets unpaused. We have to we have to pause the game in the beginning to make sure everybody's in their voice channels and everything's in order. Just going up, going ahead here. Going to jump right into it. So we've been talking about mid control. Now this is a pro lobby. Well, I would consider it pretty pro. Or I would consider it people. These are people that might be in pro or close to pro or perceived as pro. These guys are all, you would be afraid to see them in a lobby for one reason or another. Some more than others. And I'm going to try not to put my opinion in, but I think you'll very easily be able to deduce which players you'd be more scared of afterward or after this. Um, so, so it's Roz, Chuck Norris, fantastic player. Roz is fantastic. Boogie. We have Pookie, Tempest, Jinx, and Fake Slayer. Now, I'll tell you my opinion on the positive note is I think Roz and Chuck Norris are fantastic teammates. I'm going to leave it at that. I don't know about Fake Slayer. Um, I don't know about Jinx. He could be. I'm, I'm, I just don't want to get into it, all right? I don't, I don't want to be stepping on anybody's toes. I'm just making this educational video. So those are our players. So feel about it however way you feel about it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to look at this objectively. Ah, get out of here. He's going to start making all sorts of noise upstairs because he feels left out. All right. Maybe he'll take a shit down here before that. All right, what does everybody do? What do you think everyone's going to do in a pro lobby? And I'm look I'm looking at the mini map. It's kind of hard to to read read the map when it's this far zoom far out, I think. But the mini map you should be looking at the mini map anyway. When I look at this, I'm looking at the mini map for the most part, only for like the little micro things, the micromanagement. You look at the screen for the macro, which is more important than the micro. Once you get the micro down, I mean, if you don't know, if you don't have the micro side down, you're gonna have a lot of trouble, do like uh, doing what you want with the macro. I guess you could say. Anyway, let's just jump into it. Okay, we have Rosin underscore top left we have 
Tempest and Fake Slayer top right. We have Bang Boogie and Chuck Norris and bottom left. That's kind of spooky. We have Pookie and Jinx. These these two players I don't really have an opinion on at all. I, I just don't see them around. I don't play with them enough. So, what's happening? Okay. Top left goes goes mid. They're eventually going to put their SCVs in their bunker, I'd imagine. Both go one speed, one regen. Top left, uh, SCVs sitting there. Puts SC, Blue puts SCV in bunker. No upgrades, no upgrades. No upgrades, no upgrades. No SCV in bunker. Chuck puts his SCV in his bunker. Boogie's SCV is sitting out. And then... Um, Tempest? Tempest does his SCV outside his bunker. So I can tell you right now um, who the best players are. Just by this. Top left already has their upgrades. They're they're making a beeline to mid. Um, they have their speed. They're going to get there quick. It's not going to make a huge difference, but little things stack up against good players. I fucked up. I sent my SCV out. It's probably the dumbest thing you can do, but I did that on accident. I might catch it. I might not. Everyone's going for mid. Uh, I think this was Boogie. Boogie got one speed. He's probably getting a second speed. Some people opt for speed and regen, some opt to get two speed. I would say keep that shit even. So everyone's going for mid. Tempest is going to get there really slow because he didn't get the upgrade immediately. But if you notice... What's happening here? Everyone's going mid right now. These are all seasoned players. If you don't want to call them pro, you can at least see the point that they are seasoned, experienced players that aren't pushovers. So this will be a fun match, I think. <sighs> okay, so everyone's going mid. Teal's lagging behind because he didn't go straight for mid. He decided to go a little, veer off a little bit to the left. And then he's going to go to mid. So he's already given up m mid to Roz to a certain extent. But if Roz takes advantage of it, he's just going to get pushed back. The supply, there's not going to be a huge difference in supply. So let's watch how this pans out. And keep an eye on the, on the upgrade. Some people are going 1-1. Some people are going 2-speed. And 1-1, one, one, I'm talking about regen. But if you notice, all these players are going to get regen. At least I'd certainly hope so. Blue's got regen now as well. No fighting is has um no fighting has broken loose quite yet. In a second, uh, upgrades are gonna be popping in for different players. They're gonna get into the twos of the HP and regen, or they might branch out and get attack and armor. Um. I would say HP regen is better because you can dip out of fights, recover health, and get back into them. Rather than upgrading, getting attack and armor upgrades is not that great because a dead unit can't fire. So this is this is the first misplay I'm seeing. Tempest is going. He's already like he's not he's not quite laning. It, it's not quite laning, but. It isn't going mid, so it is laning. I'll consider this laning. He's put himself in a position where he's closer to his opponent's resupply. They have mid. They have a better concave on him already. If he takes this battle, he's going to lose it. 
Raz is going to take this advantage. Um, see how he pokes forward? That that automatically will give um, Teal a better concave. But I'm here supporting him. We're, we're sticking to our corner, basically. So if we stick to our corner, we're going to be the least likely to be outnumbered. And if you see that, like, we're, we're next to each other. Uh, as soon as Teal gets greedy and he engages us, I'm going to follow suit and I'm going to help him and they get pushed back. Now, what happened here is, this is interesting. Boogie and Chuck aren't doing their part. So this might be, um, I had experience with Boogie where he didn't see their diagonal fighting, so he kind of gave up on it. So this might be him doing that again. Nothing against him. It's just you got to have some trust, especially in these lobbies. These people, you can, you, I would say just assume that you're, everyone in the lobby is good no matter what. Just make the right plays no matter what. And I would assume that what's happening here is if you can, like, from their perspective, right? Well, they don't see anything. So let's back up like 10 seconds. They're getting into mid. Everyone's, everyone's there about the same time. So from Chuck and Boogie's perspective, they're poking... They want to get the shield tower, get a feel of things. Everyone, everyone is there. That's good. That means that they're in a good position to start supporting their diagonal. Um, Boogie's going to be pushing forward. Actually, Boogie's the one that got the tower. They're actually the one with the tower, which is pretty nice. I think they're the only one who's seen the tower so far. And they know for sure that their diagonal is fighting. So he sees Tempest over here and... The, and we're collapsing on him. Blue is backing out of middle. Um, I wish I could slow this down even more. But Blue's backing out and he's going back in. Um, everyone's kind of at their corner. But here's, here's the thing. They have this space. And though it's a bad idea to overcommit. It's a bad idea not to commit. Even like... Even if it's like just just a few little shots, you don't get any kills, you're there, you're applying pressure, you're making sure that this thing isn't 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 just going it's not all getting pushed over to your diagonal and making it their problem. Because as soon as your diagonal gets pushed out, you get pushed out. So Tempest is getting himself pushed out basically. And they lose vision. Boogie's pushing forward. Um, Chuck is back there. See, this is they're not really doing anything. They don't see what's going on. They're backing out. And you see what happens here is there's no pressure happening from this side. So pink and light, light pink. Or bottom right, bam. We have control of mid right now. And you'll see, like, in a second, that we will be first and second place. Almost for sure. So they're getting pushed out of mid, and as soon as they get pushed out of mid, we can commit only a minuscule amount of units to keep them out to deter them as long as we need to to, to do the same to bottom left. And I was thinking about, this was exactly what I was thinking. I'm not going to fight my diagonal. I'm going to help them. And until if some freak accident occurs that that uh, people start laning in this high level lobby, then we can fight them, but not going to, at least not at this point. I'm not going to waste my supply on that when I have supply that when I need to use my supply on things that are much higher priority than weakening me and my diagonal. Like a few extra shots doesn't mean anything right now. We need to we need to establish what space is ours. So Boogie is over here. He's kind of leaning a little bit. He's they're definitely not applying any pressure. Light blue and oh teal. 
Teal and Blue just got royally fucked. Because even though they were in mid, they weren't doing anything. So they're going to get kicked out. Now, they might give up. And I see this happen a lot. Even, even in these lot, lobbies, they just give up. So if, if from their perspective, everyone is backing off and going the other way. And maybe somebody is staying behind to keep them at bay for a minute. We'll see what happens. But, okay, now orange and yellow are kind of poking around. Pink is getting himself in a really bad position. He's trying to punish light pink for being that far out. It's not going to work. Let's be honest, he's laning right now. It's not going to work. Um... They got to back off. He has to back off. They're getting 4v2'd right now because they kicked their lane out of mid by kind of just sitting there and not doing anything useful. So, this is what happens. They pulled... Uh, this entire thing is gravitating this way because there is no pressure happening here. They gave up. Oh, my diagonal sucks because they weren't fighting for mid. So, I'm not going to fight for mid because they have mid and I can't get in there anymore. But, if you look, that's not the case. Even though they've made some horrible decisions and fucked over their diagonal and decided within 30 seconds to begin laning and throwing the game for themselves, Chuck, at the very least, has decided to take a stand and say, No, this is my corner. You ain't kicking me out unless it's all... Unless it's unless you commit two people to it. If you got to commit two people to it, that means that no one's committed over here. Unless unless we coordinate with our diagonal to have vision or at least we give one team the sensor tower and allow them to control this corner. This, they literally watched them do it. Or they, blue, top right literally watched the entire thing gravitate towards that way. Why would everyone go that way if there wasn't anything there? If there wasn't anything there, they'd be taking the corner. So, pink and light pink are backing off um, because Boogie, Boogie wants the lane, so they're just kind of like, Okay, if he wants to choke himself, he can. Um, this isn't too bad. Um, I'd like to see Pink getting a little bit closer to to other people. Um, Blue and Teal have given up. And bottom left earlier has thrown the game. It's 30, it's 30 seconds in, guys. I can tell you who's going to lose. After 30 seconds. If you want to jump to the end, you can. I don't know how long this video is going to be. But you want to argue with me about this. But here's the proof right here. Anyway. So this is what's going to happen. Top left, which is me and Roz. And then bottom right, which is um, Pookie and Jinx. We have control of mid. And I want to say or at least believe that all four of us decided to share mid. Which is perfect for us. Because we know Boogie's in the game. He's clearly not one of us. He's going to lane. In fact... Bottom right probably is going to be in first place because of Boogie. Um, Chuck. Chuck's a tough sell. But for sure, top right's going to die first. If there's. Unless there's like some freak accident. And it's only 30 seconds in the game. And I could have probably told you this at 15 or 20 seconds. So, um, I'm just waiting. 
Boogie's already given up on mid. Chuck, Chuck conceded his corner and and um, let me get some shots at him through fog. I control, I control his corner basically. Every, he's, I'm gonna get a bunch of free shots because of the fog. But I'm too close. I'm close to his, closer to his resupply. Uh, Raza is doing his part to control his corner. It's okay. We're retreating back. We don't want to lose too much supply. We um. We just we we take mid, we claim it, and we're gonna do what we can to control it. And we're gonna we're gonna share it with our diagonal, cause that's what good diagonals do. Okay, Tempest is going to lane. If you notice, Roz can do one of two things. He might cut, but look at this. Um. Oh wait, Tem uh, who's Tempest? Fake Slayer has not given up on mid. Chuck has not given up on mid. That means that when Boogie decides to go lane, um, Chuck is going to be there to get him out when he gets cut, and he will get cut. He will get 2v2'd. Same, same thing here. We know we keep poking at the tower. We're going to know that blue is right there. He's as close as, as to mid as he possibly can. If Roz tries to cut, Blue's going to be right there. But the deeper, the deeper Teal goes, the deeper, uh, the deeper Teal go goes, the longer it's going to take for Blue to get there, and the more pressure is going to be put on the opposite side. And they're just going get, to keep getting pushed further back to their bunkers. They don't. They don't necessarily have to lose their supply as the weak diagonals, as they're getting, excuse me, as they're getting pulled off, or pulled, pulled back. But they're gonna have to give up a lot of space. It's just gonna have to be. How do you get mid back? You just have to be stubborn. And you can't lane. Lane is just. If you lane, you've given up. So Tempest is doing nothing worthwhile. Uh, Roz is probably aware he uh, Teal has to be somewhere. And the only place that worries him or would affect him would be right where Tempest is at or trying to go for mid. So Tempest is decided to lane while if he was right here he would have caught pink isolated from his ally they could have wiped pink in a 2v1 regardless of the mid advantage but he's laning now he's helping out now he's coming but now Raz uh, pink has begun to lane he's got a nice concave on blue it's not going to be worth it worth anything because blue's just going to back off so why bother um Teal is nowhere. Oh, Teal is not doing much of anything. Um, Pink has has given us mid. Basically, we have mid. We're not gonna we're not gonna punish him for getting out of it, but we are gonna take this corner. It's gonna give us a nice good concave on Teal if he decides to commit. Whoever decides to commit, um, Orange is doing his job. So this allows us to do two things. Roz can take this corner. Or he can take it a little bit with a little bit of his army and come over here, help me push out um, Orange. Uh, Boogie has been sitting here for the last 25 seconds. Or, I don't know, 25 seconds, whatever. Uh, he's been there a pretty long time. If it's one second, it's too long. Um, so, Chuck is the Chuck is bringing this way closer to home than it needs to be. He, he should be... He doesn't have mid control. His ally isn't helping him control mid. His diagonal has given up. He needs to be right here. He needs to give. He needs to make opportunities for his diagonal. And what's going to happen here is yes. I'm. It, Raz is probably going to take this opportunity to double team him, but maybe not commit with his entire army, which would be good. Tempest is. Tempest is actually. Being, being where he needs to be. He's 
looking at he's gonna look and see if the door is gonna open up for him Roz is yep so this is the thing um, Roz doesn't have to be nearly out of position as as uh, Chuck could make him if Chuck had him following over here Roz may not have even committed to this battle or or but I was actually losing that fight so so Roz has to commit at least a few units to this so the thing is Chuck wants to wants to fight a little bit further it's gonna put him a unit or two behind which is not the worst but the thing is it gives it puts him closer to Roz and it keeps Roz close enough to see oh look when this guy starts coming he might be able to get over there and take care of it pink is doing his job he's gonna help out he's gonna push orange out so Roz can back off and take this corner Um, I'm gonna continue staying on my side because I'm not really dominating too well uh, I think you know I could I probably should or did help orange or help pink mess with orange I'm being a little slow here but that's okay um, hmm, this is hard to say what um, maybe I did make the wrong move I need to do something I definitely need to do something so I I can see what's going on here I want to support my diagonal I want to I want to keep people out of mid and it's gonna be really easy because um, bottom right is their score is gonna shoot up and they're like super far behind um, I say this is probably my fault that this is happening but I'm not too worried about it because we have mid control and we're gonna get our diagonal back into mid that's fine and if you see here this is a very good play for Pookie and Jinx they've decided that they're going to fight one army this is gonna this is likely going to scare off blue which is going to open up which is going to reduce this 3v1 or 3v2 to a 2v2 and then I can actually go and cut which is I think what I was waiting for now that now that I see it so yep I've uh, isolated or I, I let I think this was the idea behind it I let I, I let Chuck kill himself basically with this and I don't I still don't have a significant amount of supply over him I'm way far behind or I'm far away from my bunker we're actually kind of at the same amount of supply but I'm farther away so if I take this battle um, I don't have a good concave I'm obviously not microing that much I'm just uh, I'm doing what I can but the thing is they're so far forward I'm gonna help out my diagonal and this puts them in a very bad position where they get cut off. I'm going to get some few shots. And and depending on what goes on, I retreat or I I stay there. Raz has got his corner. Um, I wasn't looking too hard, but maybe he could have done the same thing. Mm. Hard to say because I didn't catch it. But I'm going to get pushed back as they get pushed back. So I'm just going to follow it. If I can get a good concave like that, I'll take it. Roz is doing a really good job of, of controlling mid. If pink wants in, you should let him. I'm going to continue helping pink. Or light pink. I don't know how much longer it'd be worth it. My units are getting low on health. I definitely don't want to be be uh, trading shots off on this flank. Pink is going in. 
uh, we see that uh, Tempest is yeah Tempest is um he's decided to land again he's given up so I'm gonna back off pink is going in mid uh, this this is a territory where our supply line is starting to get threatened again so we got to back up we can't we can't be here we can't be we can't be cutting here because we're getting cut that'll lead to us getting out num in situations where we're getting outnumbered so I'm gonna get the fuck out of there I'm gonna hope that pink is nice to me he's not maybe he's just being funny I don't know a little bit greedy and I, it's hard to say because some people will take it if it's really good they'll just take it and then bam you're both out of mid and then we have to fight for mid again and then you're wondering how the hell did we get mid in the first place if they're gonna do that but uh, underscore I am idling for a moment there I'm trying to like deselect a unit and get something on the tower um, this is hard to say I should be this is actually pretty easy to say uh, we definitely have mid on this side orange is poking in um, orange knows by now that nobody's in mid uh, orange is actually cutting light pink because light pink decided the lane so our diagonal is getting cut off right now and they did it to themselves because he's laning so tempest is being smart but he's going at least he's poking in he's at least he's poking mid and he's not isolating himself from his ally too too much the further away he is the more isolated he is and then this is a situation where it's like um okay we outnumber teal is it okay to trade here with our diagonal uh probably not since we have all the information but pink is nowhere to be seen so that means he's laning orange and yellow are nowhere to be seen so it means that they're defending from light pink who's laning so we shouldn't we shouldn't trade with I shouldn't trade with my diagonal here because light pink is not gonna have an army because he's laning And I see that uh, blues blue just got back into mid because of that um, I'm not sure what the rationale behind that was but I think we mutual we both accepted the fight um, maybe it's because I was so close to full supply I was willing to do it but um, blue took the opportunity to start poking in a mid I see blue there. I'm like, nope. Pink backs off. See what he's doing there? He's backing off. And he's going to see this, and he should turn around to fight blue. But. Look here. Orange and yellow are laning. Both on one side. Uh, pink is probably like, ugh. I think uh, hmm. I think I might be able to cut this off if this goes on if he gets any deeper it'd be a pretty pretty good cut and I'll let him back into mid that's fine I'll let him do that he can do that who cares so we're gonna fight for mid uh, I'm gonna have a really terrible concave this is embarrassing a little bit blue yeah I'm gonna back this off I'm gonna try to get another have another go at it I didn't I didn't take that for too long there we go I'm trying at a different angle pink is pink screen being kind of greedy here this is dumb and frustrating this is a dumb and frustrating thing to do um pink sees blue in mid you're you're okay so First priority. Here's your priorities. Don't die. Don't let your supply get cut off. Control your corner. Kick people out. Um, and uh, cut. So it goes like this. You go here. 
You go here, you go here, you go here, you go here, you go here. And in a lobby like this, you probably should never get this far. It probably stops um, like, like um, you're going to get people who lane, so it'll stop maybe here or here. Probably here. It stops at the cut. Then you know you're overextended. And everyone here should be trying to keep their supply up. So Pink wants to trade with me, wants to reduce my supply. Um, Blue sees it. Um, it's I kind of see this as kind of stupid. Pink still wants to trade. He still wants to fight. Not really that great. Now he's like, this is stupid, okay? Pink's at full supply. Light pink is at full supply. We're at 30 supply. Green is at 40 supply. Now, everyone is about 40 supply or more. So there is... There's a minuscule advantage supply wise, but pink is trying to make sure that we, that his, that he has less supply and his diagonal has less supply when there's shit going on. His ally is laning, orange is poking in the mid. He has no idea. I don't think. Let's see that again. I want to see if he saw the mid tower. But he sees this. He sees blue. Where blue is trying to poke in. He's kind of... He's taking this path that bring barrels him right into us and them. So I'm going to give up that space. I'm not trading with my diagonal. Blue get, gets kicked out. There's still... A lot, a lot of supply there. He has, he has the sensor tower. Backs off. He has the corner. Now he wants to take our corner. What's his lane doing? His lane is trying to get back in mid. Don't do that. Orange is getting back in. He sees that. Um. We're in a bad position. He um. He should see light blue poking. Oh, he doesn't see light blue cutting us off. We're backing out totally. Orange is not being as aggressive as he should be. I am being stubborn about keeping the corner so that we have mid at least vision into mid. Teal is laning, gets backed off. Roz gets a really good engagement here. Of course, because Teal's laning. Pink wants to fight. Pink wants to fight. He forces Roz to come over here to try to back him off while we're getting 2v2'd with a third guy coming in and probably getting himself 3 v uh, 1 at worst. And I don't like those odds, if that's even a possibility. But Blue... He needs to be further this way. He needs to be where he can see things. Teal is poking up. He's getting himself cut off. Our diagonal still wants to fight with us. Still. At this point, I might just get frustrated and team up on Teal. But that would be the wrong play. Um, I wish Roz would back off pretty soon here, if not a second or so earlier. He's starting to lose units, and he's get he's outnumbered. Uh, I, sh I should probably go and help him, but Pink is trying really hard to give give up mid for us. You see that? So. Pink is currently, I guess you could say, dominating yellow, but that doesn't really matter.
um, Orange is not doing so good. He's matched with me. But when you put the team score into account, me and top left have done a good job. I couldn't tell you why bottom right is slightly further ahead of us right now. Other than, you know, it's probably this. Laning, laning will get you money faster. But it's going to... It's going to get you losing more units, which puts you behind later. Orange is leaning. That's fine. He's fight. He wants to fight on my side. And this is, this looks like it starts to de devolve into a 2v2, but every game I play, I get a little bit more stubborn about this because over and over again, I see this panning out the same way. I have mid. Orange is pressuring me. I'm going to cut him off. Pink wants to fight me. He saves Pink. Or he saves Orange's army by doing this. And he abandons his ally to a 2v2. Thus giving us... Prob po very possibly losing us mid. When these situations where things start stack, army start stacking up, I'm just gonna back off. I'm gonna remove myself from the situation. I'm gonna go to my corner, or at least I should. But this is a two v two situation right now, and I think, I think at this point it's just we have an annoying, stupid, belligerent diagonal who keeps trying to fuck us over, solidifying themselves in first place and us in second place, but. You can't do that this early on. It's like three minutes. There's no huge difference in score. It's going to flip around if you do this shit. I'm going to poke mid. My, my diagonal is an asshole. I might just cave in and say fuck you guys. But I've been very stubborn about not being stupid. Okay. We're going to establish control of mid. We're going to grab our corners. Hell, I wouldn't mind if Roz, Roz let light blue in just to pick off a few units from pink. No pressure from, no pressure coming from bottom left. That means that we can easily defend this with two armies. Light pink was laning, got himself cut off, and decided to go this way. Let's see what how that happened. Light pink was laning. Orange did a. Beautiful split. My man. Look at this. Spank him. Spank that bad boy. Yep. I thought I told you not to lane, young man. No, daddy, no! So he's there. He's gonna probably go to mid. Uh, we might just say fuck this asshole. Um, it's hard to say. I might have let him in. I might have let him back to his base. But Roz is like, what is this idiot doing? <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm not sure if I should have engaged Orange here. Because Orange was helping Roz get light pink. And uh, 2v2 or 2v1 is good enough for me. Uh, two v three v one is kind of overkill. You can I could be doing something more useful. This allows top right into middle. But um, I guess I got what are the upgrades looking like? Two two three five, uh, three three two two five. Okay, like same upgrades. I'm not sure how I won that battle. Um. Probably my superior HP regen, to be honest. Um, maybe I had a better concave. 
but we got we got pretty good engagement there and we're about tied up with bottom right and bottom right actually is in second place right now because pink got himself cut off laning oh look at that the classic the classic uh, SCV on mid tower now if you look here um, I guess Roz doesn't I have my SCV in the bunker blue has his SCV in the bunker light pink has his SCV in the bunker and orange has their SCV in the bunker and just for shits and giggles Chuck has it it's Chuck's Chuck's is in the bunker uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that's Pookie right yeah, it's Pookie. I don't know much about Pookie, but I know the name. Um, Tempest has been laning all game, so I'm going to guess that it's his ally. I don't remember. Oh, Fake Slayer. And then... And then I have mine in my bunker. Hard to say why Roz has this out. He might be... He might... I don't know. Hard to say. It doesn't really matter. But you can remove a unit from your control group by hitting Alt plus a number, I believe. That's one way to do it. Or you can deselect the unit and rebind your control group, which is what I tend to do, which it would be shift click the unit while you have your control group selected and then click or do control one really fast you got to do it really fast or you're gonna lose lose a unit that just spawned you'll be more likely to but the SCV is in mid we Tempest uses his nuke Tempest is just not only laned all game except right now he decided now that they have mid that he's going to fight for it with his nuke so that's really bad for him because now he's down a nuke I guess Roz decides to back off but I'm if you see what I do here my shit's on full forward man here we go let's get together Let's poke in, see what's happening. Okay, we can't get in. Okay, let's poke and see what's happening. And we're in. Hey, bro. Hey, we got mid. Hey, we got mid. He might want to undercut, but he doesn't know what blue is doing. We don't have mid control. Orange is poking in. Blue's probably going to retreat to this corner. Okay, Roz is... We're not a cohesive unit right now, and we need to do that in order to comfortably get in the mid. That's why I'm not going as hard as I can. Though, I should be on that corner as best as I can. Yeah, that gave him time to to get a set up on us. So we can just back off. We don't have to take it. We still don't have to take it. We can still give up more space. They're both here. We can take it all the way back to our bunker. We're going to fill it up. Get the SCV behind. Farther back. Or inside. There we go. Clean defense. They're backing off. Now they're coming back. We're going to back off. Now they're leaving. We're going to go back. We're going to follow them. We got to follow them. See, this is a mistake. We got to follow them. Because... They just gave up mid. Our diagonal could be here ready to fuck them. But we're we're chilling. We can't do that. This actually puts us in last place because we got nuked. Which is okay. We have we have both nukes. And now we're gonna bunker up. I'm gonna put down a shield tower. This was kind of stupid. Um, we don't have mid control. We don't know what's going on because we weren't we weren't staying on them. And 
we won't ever get in the mid if we don't keep up the pressure and let our presence be known. We can't let them assume that we're not going to do anything. We have to li we have to keep our our options open. So light blue is ran off and laned. This gives us mid because we're going for mid and we can 2v2 teal where blue just wants oh look a bunker I gotta go cancel that and then teal's like uh well okay he might go over and help that because that's the only thing he can do right now that's gonna make him money but we have mid now and if teal wants the lane this is gonna be a fucking ugly cutoff if I was Roz, I would let him see that bunker. And I'm just chilling. I'm going to I'm going to cut this dude off. Uh I could I have the option of cutting off light blue or or cutting off blue. And I probably should. Or I'm at least making my presence known. Blue has no choice but to back off. Look at that. See see how we went went for mid? Now we have this amazing ability to cut him off whenever we want. He's not even going to see this bunker. And if he sees it, it's because we want him to. Oh, nice. We get a mineral patch for our trouble. Orange wants mid. We're going to poke. We're going to pull him off. Or pull him out. We're both. You see how we both are going at him. So he's got to get away from that. That means he's gonna run away. And if he's dumb, he's gonna keep running. As soon we're gonna turn around, or we're gonna let. T we're gonna turn around if Teal continues. Can you continues trying to put on pressure? Now I can I I'm in a kind of shitty position here where I can't commit to either thing. Well, I I can't commit to keeping teal out. I can scare orange out and then I can also turn around and scare teal out. And at this point, this is getting ridiculous. We're just wasting time doing this back and forth. Blue wants to feed us, so we're going to do that. All that pressure. Imagine, um, imagine if we weren't doing anything because we were building a bunker. That was a four v two on our diagonal, and they would for sure be getting this bunker canceled right now. Instead, we're actually cutting off and forcing a two v two, and we're gonna win this two v two. Look at all that space. I don't agree with how far we went, but I guess we're getting we're getting some fights in. Orange is back in mid. We're gonna go back there. We're gonna con we're gonna control mid. We can't keep doing that. Looks like we're climbing back up the scoreboard. Um, Tempest is getting Reapers. Don't really care. Even if I did saw it or see it. No fight over here. It's a 2v2. I guess we're being nice to our diagonal right now. We see it. Um, it's a 2v2 right now. So, I mean, we can do this. Feed on the SCV. Get us a little bit further up. Maybe we can bait another nuke off of this team. It's GG for them. They might have to. They're not throwing turrets. Teal can't even throw turrets because we're getting it so fast. It's a nice solid cancel. We've got two bunkers and a re uh and a Merc Marine bunker. I'm probably going to be a little bit less greedy here because I'm running low on supply and I only have one bunker. I'm only going to have one bunker for most of this. 
So this is just posturing. We're just annoying each other. Um, yellow and orange have decided to get two bunkers, so they they just die. Um, pink. So this is what happens when you control mid and you're the strong diagonal because you control mid. Free Marauders. I didn't even notice. I'm watching this replay and I didn't even notice those Marauders go down. Honestly, I don't give a shit. He has Marauders. And that puts bottom left in a really bad position because they're not going to get Marauders. Because they're the weak diagonal. Don't even try. Um, yeah. Um, just by virtue of them having Marauders, they're going to win this. They're eventually going to kill bottom left. Are they going to kill their lane faster than us? Uh, probably not because I'm building a tank. So I guess we can sustain this. Um, I think I at some point notice that oh we don't have mid tower so let's go uh, do that yep I guess I sent one marine over here to scout in and then took it all right um, I'm probably gonna be poking in the mid a whole lot more at this point um yeah, uh, you're just going to lose these battles if you don't have Marauders. Especially if you built... Um, especially if you didn't merc your Marines. And especially if you got Reapers. You just lose these battles. Bottom left is like... They're actually on par for whatever reason. You know, top left is us. We're not... We're actually in fourth place, but it's pretty even. Like, all these teams are within a hundred of each other, and there's not a huge disparity. Well, we're, we're two or three hundred behind, but the reason for that is, um... I'm building the tank, man, and I got nuked. So that's okay, I'm gonna make that, that back. We're gonna make that back really quick, if you, if you take a look. Or if you keep watching. Um, yellow and orange are poking in the mid. That's a good spot. Especially when you're against vastly superior units. Orange is doing nothing. Now he's doing something. Now he's, now he's just moving around. He's got the corner at least. That's a good spot to be. Uh, I am pushing up with the tank. Nobody is scouting. I'm going to put this outside of the range of his bunker. You poke forward. I want to get what little tiny little pot shots off I, as I can. Just going to keep my army back. I'm going to have one one unit in front to, uh, just to provide vision for the bunker. But if you notice, I'm not aiming at the tank. I mean, I'm not aiming at the bunker. I'm aiming at the army because he still has a, um, he still has a nuke. And if he nukes, which he did, and he gets a really good nuke by f for whatever reason or even if he gets a decent nuke and I'm out of position or just any if something bad happens right if my SCV is not where it should be I'm not repairing I get double team we get caught off any of that shit I'm making sure my top priority is to reduce the size of the army so that my tank is less likely to die when they nuke. He's going to aim at the tank. This is perfect. This is perfect for me. Absolutely perfect. At this point, I know he doesn't have another bunker. So I'm just going to kill the bunker. The units disappear. I don't need or want the score. I just want them dead. Uh, we didn't need to use that turret. Or throw that turret, but whatever. Uh, okay, so someone dies. Uh, people might notice and come forward. 
my f my gut instinct is always to un siege and back off. But uh, I do have a sh I do have a sensor tower and nothing's happening right now. Pink might come over here, but probably not. It's a two v two right now. And if they're targeting the tank, they're targeting the turret. They're not. They're not doing any sub like any real damage to us. Like the turret's gonna disappear anyway. Um. And the tank has plenty of extra health we can play with. And there, it's just like I, I'm aiming the tank at the middle of the army, so I can maximize the amount of damage I inflict. Orange is coming over. He's doing a scout. Uh, not sure what he's gonna do. We should be being more stubborn about keeping that mid tower. See, I'm I'm not really I'm not ready to commit to this. Uh blue's building the tank too. I think pink knows that and is helping him build it. Which is a really good fucking idea for him. So I'm just giving up space, but I'm not giving up a whole lot. See what light pink does. I think he just truced, but he also missed microed. I'm. I just had my tank going in circles because I had nothing better to do. I'm almost sitting on full supply again. We gotta, we gotta do something. Uh, there's two options we have here. We could let light blue live, or we could kill orange or yellow we could do something like that uh, it'd be a little bit too early to take out our diagonals rods that would piss people off what we are not doing is getting a marauder bunker and if we do get a marauder bunker I'm gonna show you I'm gonna tell you there's probably gonna be some I don't know if we actually did but if it happens I'll point out to you why that's kind of awful I was just looking to make sure that this was recording. That that was scary. I was like, am I recording? I guess right now I'm just waiting for that second tank to finish. I mean, we could be doing something. Um, we probably should be doing something. At the very least, we could be poking up in the middle. But then it... <sighs> rods builds, rods builds, rods. Um, nobody's going to nobody sees it or does anything about it it's hard to say but now I have to commit my tank to defending this because someone's gonna freak out and attack us um, at this point it's safe to assume that they're just locked in mortal combat here um, light pink is they're behind on killing their lane and this conflict has lasted so long and they're in first place this is just going to continue happening so they're allowing us to get rods because we're not in first place whereas I allowed them to get rods because that's our diagonal and that allows us to just completely wreck them at our leisure Leisure, leisure. Here, I want to, um, I want to have control of mid. I might want to screw over orange. Blue wants to feed us some marines. That's cool. Rather he not. I'd honestly like in this position. I don't even want to kill his tank. I just want to take out his bunker so the tank disappears. I don't want that score. I want bottom right to be ahead. And they will, I mean, we don't know this, but they will eventually win this conflict. Um, but they're also not going to if they built a paperweight instead of a tank. Um, pink is 
doing his thing. Um, or Light Pink is doing his thing over here. I guess he wants to keep an eye on Blue, try to keep him alive. But Pink, and Pink over here is doing a good job at defending this because up until about now, there, there haven't been any rods in play. And he's fighting a lot of fake supply, which is Reapers. So I am guess I I just keep... I'm just going to siege and unsiege and siege and unsiege. I'm going to take out... I'm going to whittle down his supply as much as I can. So that I can deny... One of the big things is so I can deny vision of his tank... Or his tank vision of my tanks. And so I can have vision of his tank. That means he can't fire back on them. And then I'm going to get this tank pretty easy. It's unfortunate for us that he put it in a pretty decent spot, I guess. Or we got impatient, but this is going to put us in first place. We don't want to be in first place. Second place is okay, but that's that's like a stone's throw away from first. But we might get lucky because uh, bottom left doesn't like top right. But these these scores are pretty pretty even still. But it's getting that gap is getting bigger. There's gonna be a thousand difference between bottom left and the top score. Quite possibly here soon. Um I think we back off. It was more because we backed off more because Pink came over here and he saw what's happening more than like, oh shit, we're, we're really high score. But I think the thought did cross our minds like, oh, uh, let's let top right or let's let bottom right get some more score and then we'll go do something. In fact... That was an, this was an after dark game, so he intentionally fed some units to get to move uh, bottom right along to be higher in score. So I guess that was Roz's idea, not mine, but it's gonna work out. Bottom left sees the tanks, but they don't give a shit. There's tanks everywhere. Um, light pink, they could they could be killing bottom left right now. But now they've taken so long to do it by getting rods, getting reaps, and building a paperweight that um, they're just going to fall behind. Like, the rods put them a tank behind, the reapers put them a tank behind. I mean, same thing here. But we're going to show you. I'm going to show you what happens when you build rods. And you get punished for building rods. What I'm just I'm just putting pressure on mid. My armies my tanks are over here, my army's over there. I'm just you know we don't both need to be over there killing that tank, so we can do some duplicity here. What does that word mean? Here's a movie called Duplicity. Was, I think I remember it being good. Deceitfulness, double dealing. Okay, maybe it's not quite that. Maybe it is. I don't even remember what the hell I said. But, um, yeah, so. Blue is just about dead. We're definitely going to get this kill. But then we're like, ooh, a tank. Mmm. We're going to kill that tank. And we're going to get a nuke out. So that's good. Instead of killing the tank, we got a nuke out. That's even better. That means top bottom right is down a nuke. Bottom left has one nuke. Two nukes. We have both our nukes. Bottom left has their nukes. Bottom right's down a nuke. That's going to suck. So I'm backing off. I wanna, I wanna know what the fuck's going on. To be honest, 
if nothing's going on, I'm going to be like, okay, we can start branching out. Uh, the only thing here is we should we should be keeping our presence here at this corner since there's nothing else nothing else that we can do. Blue's got to die. He's going to be he's he doesn't like us. He's got to die. He's not going to play for his win. That's for sure. Uh, light pink is feeding blue or something. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, but it brings his supply down. Blue's doing his best to help out. Poor little guy. Who is this? Fake Slayer? Man. Good on him, man. He didn't give up. A moment of silence for Fake Slayer. For playing this right. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to kill Blue. And this is a uh, misplay. If they don't switch, this is definitely a misplay. But we are we are in first place. It doesn't look like we're in first place, but we're definitely in first place. They use their nuke and this is going to put um, them 4v2ing them. That puts us in a really good position. If you if you don't have a diagonal and you let the cross kill their diagonal in a 4v2 before you can control mid or have tanks or whatever, it's really bad for you. I gotta pee again. Shit. Um. Yeah. That tank's gonna go down, and we're we've got mid vision. I'm just gonna keep poking forward because uh, bottom left is allowing this to happen. We're not going to take. We're going to prioritize taking out the tanks first, and the bunkers in the back that are less likely to be seen. And we're gonna we're basically gonna start here and go this way. Because let's face it, uh, people don't scout a whole lot when it's the most important to do. So I'm thinking I gotta do this somehow. Like I prefer to tank from mid, but that might that might freak freak bottom left out. I'm backing off because it looks like it looks like Chuck might be moving towards us. This means that we don't control mid, so that means I go back and we we take mid. Chuck leaves mid. That means we control mid. We go back. We start going towards that way. Roz is like feeding. I I I think this is stupid. And has a negligible impact. Don't feel like I control mid, I'm going to back up. If I feel like I control mid, I'm going to go back. So let's speed this up. It's going to be going back and forth. Like I'm sitting here with my tanks being like, when's, when's the 4v2 going to happen? But it doesn't happen. So eventually... Eventually, we're just like, okay, it's not coming. We'll just we'll just be careful. I guess one thing we could have done is build a shield tower right here and see what yellow and orange would have done. That would kind of give, give us an understanding of how they're feeling about it right now. If we built a shield tower, like... Just keep the tanks back and see what they do if they go over there. Then we can be like, oh, well, if we do that, they're gonna they're gonna team us. They're gonna get the tanks killed. They're gonna bait our nukes. So let's not do that. We can just let the conflict continue and let bottom left die. But if we attack bottom left, 
bottom left or that puts us in the situation where we're getting 3v2 or 4v2 and that's really not good because at some point we're going to get tanked from mid and we're going to lose our marauders because we were dumb and built marauders it's really easy to fight a 4v2 if you don't don't build rods otherwise you're guaranteeing you have at least 1.5k of fake score so the 4v2 happens we take we notice what's going on we do it i'm not going to take i Roz is like do you want to take out the the rods i'm like no i want to take out that bunker down there okay there's no bunker or i want to take out his tanks so we're just moving up we're going to take out his tanks we gotta get his tanks oh the tanks are right there okay i'm gonna back off we're gonna split our armies he just showed off his nuke to us gonna siege up we're just gonna keep going bottom left is continuing to throw bottom right has already lost two tanks they're not keeping track they they i guess and i guess they want to deny feed or something they're putting up a strong defense but bottom left isn't scouting they don't have mid control if they had control of mid we wouldn't even be over here but we have mid control no one's controlling mid so we're taking full advantage of the situation siege up take out the bunker here comes the nuke I have four tanks and I'm aiming that shit. Uh, looks like looks like uh, Roz threw out the nuke. Let me back. Let me slow this down because oh, I farted. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so this is this is going on. I'm getting really close, man. Um, he backs off the tanks. Uh, the, I don't think there was any communication between the two players. Uh, if he's going to nuke, the, the tanks need to go up and take out the tanks. Because if I lose the tanks, then the the three the the, the scoreboard now or the the strength is now in bottom left because we've been killing each other. So we got to take care of that. Okay. This is feeling like they're going to die, so they throw out the nuke. Here comes a bunch of shit. I'm aiming that shit. Uh, here comes the nuke. Hard to say. I'm wondering if I'd prefer to lose one tank and keep keep the nuke. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It might matter. Well, we'll see. I think we only would have lost, you know, maybe the nuke was a good call. Because that, now that I think about it, might not have lost just one bunker. But, still have the tanks. And that's what's most important, because we're going to need those tanks. But I believe there was a fuck up later on. We're going to siege up. We're going to take out that bunker. He's, take, he's putting up this huge defense. And this is just stupid. Okay, at this point, they see. They see what's going on. They haven't scouted at all. They don't know. They know that we have tanks. They don't know how many. But we have tanks. And they have a tank. No, they lost that tank. At some point, they lost their tank. So, I'm just like, okay, we'll get whatever kills we can. I'm going to siege up. I was like, okay, I could take this out, but I'm not going to. I need to be in range of both bunkers, and we're going to take them out both at the same time. So, there's a misplay that happens here. I unsiege, I believe. Because I want to get the fuck out of there. I should have stayed sieged. 
but he backs off, so that's good. My next priority is to build a Marauder Bunker somewhere to shut down any pressure by Reapers. And get my tanks in the mid and tank his Marauder Bunker. So I'm going to siege up wherever I have to. Get a few shots in. This is kind of spooky. We could lose the we could start losing bunkers, but I mean, you're just taking out marine bunkers. Who gives a shit? I'm building a rod. Uh these tanks need to move and do something. I'm going to move forward. They have both of their nukes still. I'm going to aim that shit. Here comes the nuke. Doesn't matter in the slightest uh what let's back up a little bit what happened here I siege up nuke call down do a pretty decent amount of damage this this is feeling good but he's got he's he's got three bunkers resupplying. Should definitely throw a turret here. I did throw a turret. This tank is at very low health. It gets targeted. I have very low. I don't have a shield tower, so this is where I made a mistake. I should have built a shield tower. And I should have put a bunch of money in armor. And then he nukes again. I still have a nuke. So where is it? I have to cancel, or I have to not cancel. I have to pause this. I don't know where my SCV is at, but it needs to be somewhere. It respawns, it was dead. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna save that last tank. So that's kind of rough. But now all the tanks are out, and we have one tank we're and a tank in mid, and they have no tanks. They're building one, though. So, uh... We should be a little bit more aggressive here. Well, we are repairing the bunker. Or, we are repairing... We're not repairing the tank, so I can't move out. Um, I am probably... I'm like going to mark this as soon as it comes up and I'm going to get concussive shells. Maybe that, ah, I don't know how I could play that better. Maybe like throwing more turrets and definitely could have used a shield tower there. Um, Basically, we have mid and we've won and we just have to not make any huge mistakes. I'm just, uh, I'm just taking out that, um, Marauder Bunker slowly. We lose, uh, some useless bunkers. We're not really, we're really just giving them away. There's like, I don't, I don't, I don't care if he takes out my, my Marines. I have a marauder bunker and that's all I'm going to need for the rest of the game Roz is telling me oh you gotta get you gotta get ghosts and I'm like okay yeah whatever who gives a shit I just need another tank so um basically we win this because we have a tank in mid and all I have to do is Basically tag his army with my concussive shells, slow him down. He can never get around me. He can try. He can definitely try. Another thing is we got to be grabbing uh, minerals, which is something Roz is really good at. So, yeah. We have control of mid. And as soon as we get some more tanks, 
will be will be pretty good. Uh, Roz's Roz's got some decent upgrades. Not the best, not the worst, but he has ghosts, so he doesn't really need upgrades at this point. He has ghosts and marauders. It'd be nice if he could lose that um reaper bunker though. I would just give it up, man. So, I'm just buying us time here. If at any point they want to allow us to uh, move the tank forward, I will. We've got a sensor. We're not going to make any huge commitments here. We don't have to make any mistakes. We don't have to risk making any mistakes. Orange is just trying to be petty. He's given Roz more money to give me to build tanks. Tanks back there building. Orange is just frustrated. He still has marauders in his army, actually, from when when he had them early, earlier. Rods are very... Um, they persevere, I suppose. Bang, bang, bang. Eventually, I like I have the second tank. I'm feeling good. I'm not letting Roz get double teamed. I'm making sure that they know I will poke out. If anything happens, I can I can ignore this. I don't really care. I have a second bunker and he's leaving his tank undefended. But uh, I could I could have possibly got that tank, but that would cause cause an, some aggro. I'm going to get some softer targets first. I'm going to take what positions he doesn't have his tank at. I'm going to deal with those. Roz was mad because I didn't tell him that this was happening, but turns out uh i had this pretty pretty easy pretty easily um it's unfortunate his army was filled with so much fake supply with those reapers and they keep just uh this is causing bang to get really like uh um what's the word like he has to take a risk here at this point, he's really feeling it. He felt like they maybe had a chance if we messed up, and that could that's true, but we didn't make any huge errors. They did do a good, good job having both of their nukes. That managed just to buy them a bunch of time to get tanks, but they didn't. Basically, in this situation, it's just like you get... You get a decent amount of tanks and then you spam supply or something. Or buy a nuke. I'd say probably spam supply if it's a stalemate. Uh, yeah, Boogie. Boogie doesn't control mid, so he can't go over here. Yep, so. I can I can tank him from mid. He really wants this. We're being very very um careful. But I think uh individually Roz can probably take out one of the teams like individually we win anyway so it's it's the responsibility their responsibility to make less mistakes to keep their keep their base compact and easy to defend from a tank push but what they did was divide and conquer but they didn't conquer So 
So basically, I, I see this opportunity. I'm going to get as close to his tanks as I can. It gets me in range. Boogie blocks his tanks for treat. And then it's over. Now, you might say that... Um, you might say that a match like this shouldn't happen and people threw or whatever and this and that, but I would say to you that we controlled the pace of that match and we probably could have done even more, but we did not. Um, we allowed bottom left to throw the game and they were smart to keep their nukes. We didn't know that. Um, it ended, it turned out that we won because for the entire game, from the beginning to the end, we controlled mid. All right.